Welcome back everyone to another video and today we're going to be checking out the most unexpected moments caught on camera in 2021 in WWE. So pretty much these are moments that you wouldn't have seen on air, you know, on the actual cameras in the ring. It's all secret footage from the crowds that got to experience it live or like just little things like, you know, only one person maybe got to experience, like a wee interaction with the wrestler, you know, stuff like that. The Spotlight. Thanks to The Spotlight for putting together this compilation. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Alright. Decky Lynch blames Young Fan for taking fall loss. Ah. Saying you distracted me. <laughs> That's nice. It's like, yeah, it's like, she's obviously a heel. But when it comes to like young fan interactions, unless you're, who was it? Sasha Banks, who made someone cry. Unless you're Sasha Banks, you know, you'll still have this like soft spot for the youngsters and you want to sort of be nice with them in some sort of way. You know, she was saying, oh, you distracted me, you made me loss. You made me loss. You made me lose, but it's still in a friendly, upbeat sort of way. Respect for big time Becky. Big time Bex. Yeah, respect for big time Bex. Paul Heyman tried to wrestle. Okay, getting the blazer off. Paul Heyman making his debut after all these years. We've all been waiting for it. Here he goes. The Walrus is going to step into the squared circle. Who would have thought? EC Dunn! EC Dunn! Is he going to square up? He's been tagged in by the Uso. The Uso. Can never tell them apart, so the Uso. And here he Oh he's taking a fall. Oh and the Street Profits capitalize. <laughs> oh dear, and he's out. You know, it was a pretty it was an alright debut. Not too bad. Um and he needs work though. No, smack his ass like a drum. Alright, Big E wearing a towel at a live event. So I guess he probably had his match, goes back for a shower, and then he's like, nah, 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 hang on a second, this is a live event, I'm just gonna get the towel on, and go out and make a scene. And he did just that, so, okay. Fair enough. Brock attacks Cena after SummerSlam. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah. So Brock returned here, didn't he? After Johnny Boy lost to Roman Reigns. Which is still unfortunate. I think John Cena... Having a universal title on would be so good. But I like seeing Roman continue to dominate. Still going strong with that streak. Anyways, will lose at WrestleMania though? To Brock, who knows? F5 though, to John Cena. And he can definitely see him. That's it. Charlotte gives Raw Women's title to Becky. Right, so this would have been at the, at the, the changing of brands when Becky moved to Raw and Charlotte moved to SmackDown. But why would that be an off-air thing? Well, there it is. I mean, I don't remember at what point on TV when they showed that the titles have changed. It might have been a backstage sort of segment. I'm not too sure, but that was interesting. I'm not too sure why Charlotte would do that there and then. But it must have made sense to do it there and then. So, what do I know? Liv Morgan hugs Kevin Owens. Alright. Nothing too crazy, but it's something. Here she comes. High five and everyone, yeah. Good old baby face. And oh a nice hug for Kevin. He looks so pissed off though. <laughs> he must have had a rough match. <laughs> Becky reacts to oh. Oh yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. I just talk over it there to be fair, so sorry about that, but I saw this on Twitter or something. So Becky Lynch reacts to a fan who mentioned her baby. And she's like, she gets her looks from me or something like that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, his daughter's birthday. Oh, that's nice. We got Woods, Ricochet, Matt Riddle, all the celebrate as well, Big E. That's so cool. Can't hear much to be honest, but oh well. 
I've seen a few birthday celebrations all fair. For wrestlers especially. Yeah. You. I don't know her name was you. Day to you. Happy birthday. Oh no, the name comes in. Rosie? Happy birthday to you. I forgot how that show went. I was like, why did I send you another name? But well, that's how it goes. Jeff Hardy was there as well. Oh no! No! Kyle O'Reilly and Johnny Gargano leaving NXT. Oh dear. That's sad. The end of an era. Or should I say, the end, you know what's coming? Of an undisputed era. Technically, that was Adam Cole and Bobby left as well around the same time, I think. But I think Kyle, no, I think Kyle left a lot, like quite a while after the other two, right? Look at Tommaso doing it, like what a history him and Johnny had. So that's, that's so sad, because Johnny Gargano is literally a pioneer of NXT. And he's gone. Like he didn't even go to the main roster. I mean, he, he did briefly with, with Tommaso for a tag team run, but... What's he doing there then? Oh my... Well that was one way to enter the ring. <laughs> I mean, alright. Okay, Randy Orton rescue, rescues a young fan. Is he suffocating? He actually might be. He's just welded in there. He's gonna pull him out. Yeah. Security helping out. That's very nice of Randy because those sort of like very close quarter situations for young children are pretty dangerous. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. I think we're all good. Good guy, Randall. Good guy, Keith. And that is it for some off-air moments. No, it's not. It was just a. It was. It was a commercial. <laughs> it was we are break. All right, we're back. Roman Reigns sits when he pees. Oh, I saw that one. Woods is just a, a maniac. He's an absolute... Like, what? why is he pissing off the head of the table? You know what I mean? But it's a live event. It's a bit of fun. Oh, he's going to rip it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's right. Such a heel thing to do. This is good, though. This is like... They're staying in character to a certain extent. I mean, Roman's kind of laughing about it, though. Like... Oh wait, he's saying that his wand is absolutely massive, so that he doesn't have to. I don't know. Wait, let, let's try and let's try and make it out. He made he made some joke about a big ding dong. Hold it. I can I can barely make out what he said. To be fair, let me know in the comments if you know. But he's he's holding his like he's doing something here. You know, it's some sort of joke about a people. A baby, a baby. <laughs> I look up to the sky, and now the world is man. I know that there's no doubt. Anyways, that is it for now. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. And if you did, then make sure you drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe if you're new for more videos like this. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.